Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as you can see from the title of today's video, today is going to be my March 2016 beauty favorites video. I cannot believe it's the end of March. Holy shit, my birthday's in April. <sighs> One year older, love fucking Lee. It feels really weird to film right now because I haven't filmed in like two to three weeks. I pre-filmed before I went out of town to New York and to... Oh, sorry, if I can go. So if this video is a little weird, um, forgive me, forgive mama, because I haven't filmed in weeks. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it. You know the joke with that, but if you guys do like this video and you guys do like me, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And if you're new, what's up? I'm Manny Amiway, and welcome to my channel. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Welcome to the fold of the Maniacs. The family. So let's go and get into this March favorites video. Start with some skincare items first. I have a bunch of skincare items that I've been loving in March. Like I feel like March was a very good skincare month for me, and I feel like my skin has been has been happier with me. It's been better. It's been good. So I'm gonna go and get into the favies. So the first thing I want to talk about is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Eye Cream. You guys. So Kathleen Lights here on YouTube, she recommended this eye cream and I just forgot about it and like I remember thinking like damn I wanted to get that because she said it was really good for darkness underneath the eyes and I was passing by Neiman Marcus recently and I walked past Kiehl's and I'm like wait do they do they have that midnight recovery? So I went in and I grabbed it and honestly like what Kathleen said about it diminishing darkness underneath the eyes and things like that it really does truly does fucking help it's crazy like i've noticed i've only been using it for a month and i already have noticed that my the darkness underneath my eyes have started to diminish i use it every single night and i truly do feel like it's making the darkness underneath my eyes like go away it's crazy huge shout out to kathleen for recommending this i really do love it and the next product skincare product that again kathleen lights suggested to me kathleen you are, you know your shit girl you know your fucking shit this is the drunk elephant tlc Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. Wow, that is a fucking mouthful. It's a glycolic night serum. That's what this is. So this is a serum that I use every single night and I have noticed a significant change in my skin. Every single day I've been waking up, I feel like my skin is looking a little bit better and better and better. It refines and regenerates the skin underneath the skin surface. So like the top cells, they're dead. Like they're done, they're dead, they're gross. So when the top layers is flaking off and coming off, the, the layers underneath the skin are pushing forward. They're better and they are not as dry and as flaky and as wrinkly. It is a refreshing hydrating gel that resurfaces dull congested skin by gently lifting dead skin cells away. I have wrinkles on the side of my face right here like I have smile line wrinkles and I feel like this product has been helping my smile line wrinkles. It's like the it's crazy to hear but like I do feel like I've been having less crackage in the smile lines and that is really intense for me. Like I have crazy marionette lines so I really do think that this drunk elephant night serum has been what's helping my skin out like tremendously. It's so expensive though, oh my god. When Kathleen told me how much it was, I was like, what? If something works for me and I feel like it actually is making a difference, I don't care what it is, I'm gonna spend the money on it because I want to look sickening. The last skincare item I've been living for in this month is this bitch. The Clinique Moisture Surge. This was actually recommended to me by Patrick. When he would wake up the next day, his skin would feel really, really replenished and very, very hydrated. And I was like, Ooh, like that's like something I really I love feeling like my skin is very plump and hydrated the next day after I do my skincare So I tried this out and I really do See a noticeable difference when I use this and when I don't like if I do it this one night I wake up the next day and my skin does feel refreshed and it feels plump and it feels Hydrated I use like the glycolic night serum and then I use this on top of it after that one dries down And it kind of sinks into my skin a little bit more and I noticed that my skin has been changing in a good way So I really do appreciate these two products like tremendously actually all three of these Thank you, March, for giving me these products. I love them. Go skincare. This is the Carez Lip Butter. I just saw it online, and I was like, kind of going through like the lip products, and I saw this little Carez Lip Butter, and I'm like, lip butter sounds fucking good. And so I ended up buying this, and I chose the shade Guava, or like, the Guava kind. And one, it smells fucking amazing. Like, mm, this is what it looks like. It's like a little pot. And I've like already dug my little nasty, grubby ass hands in there because I've been fucking into it. What I really like about this lip butter is that I do feel like it really does hydrate my lips intensely. It's not like just like a little like chapstick where I'm like toss on a chapstick and go and I have to like reapply like a lot of times. This, I notice I do not have to reapply nearly as much as a chapstick. This really does make my lips feel very hydrated. The only problem I have with this is that the guava shade, which is like the clear shade, is not actually clear. It gives you like a white film over the lip. It makes it look like it's fucking 
bodily fluid that shall not be named but it really does work tremendously they have different kind of colors and different flavors if you guys don't want to have like that white cast on the lips you can definitely try out like the pomegranate one and there's like another one that's really really nice but I do love this Carez just fucking slays my entire life I love it the Greek yogurt line is one of my favorite lines from skincare of like all time so the Carez lip butter and guava I live for okay so I want to talk about a palette this month I've been loving oh <laughs> so this is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. This is what it looks like. How freaking adorable is this little palette? It smells like peaches. It literally smells like peaches. I know this just launched this month and it's been like a really, really hot item. I can see why. It's truly like the colors. There's 18 colors in here. That is so amazing. Like I... Uh, I love it. I love it. And I think the colors are absolutely beautiful. It's just a great neutral palette. It's not too intense. It's not like bold where it's like, oh my god, I can't wear this every day. And this is a very much a wear every day kind of palette. This palette is actually the palette I'm wearing on my eyes today. Other than obviously the liner. The liner is not this palette, but the shadows I'm wearing are this palette and I think it's absolutely amazing. I think Too Faced does beautiful eyeshadows. I love the chocolate bar. That's like one of my favorite palettes of all time from Too Faced. And it reminds me of that. It has like that beautiful blendability. The mattes are very smooth. They're very creamy. They blend very, very nicely and they're all very pigmented. So I really do appreciate that and I think Too Faced does beautiful, beautiful products. So if you guys are interested in getting a nice little palette that's a nice everyday palette that smells amazing, that works very, very well, check out the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Next item I want to talk about is this gorgeousness. Hi. So this is the House of Lashes Lash Story Book. You guys. You can't look at it. It's mine. Basically, this is a lash holder, like, for when you travel. I... You guys know me. You guys know me. We, we, we connect. You guys follow me on Snapchat. Hopefully you do. If you don't, Manny anyway. That's my Snapchat. Shameless plug. That was so fast. I almost lost my breath. I almost fainted. These are all lashes I popped in, like, what I travel with. So the top three were here. Bella, Bella, Bella. Serengeti, Serengeti, Russian Black from All New Bounce. Um, I'm wearing Serengeti. I'm wearing the pair that is right here <laughs> on my eyes right now. And then I have two House of Lashes Iconics, and these two are from Violet Voss. And it comes with a little holder for lash glue. I don't know. I just think that if you travel, I would really suggest doing the House of Lashes Lash Store. I think it's only like 14 bucks. I really do think that this is really, really, really practical, and I absolutely love it. I think that you guys should definitely check it out. If you travel a lot, if you wear a lot of lashes, get it. Let's talk about some brushes now. Let's talk about some brushes, okay? I just like there's a lot of brushes in this world, and so I try out different brushes every single month just to see, like, how I like them, and if I find some that I love, awesome. If I don't, then fuck my life. I'll just go back to my normal ones, but I just want to talk about these really quickly because I have been loving them for the month of March. It's, they're, uh, they're amazing. This is the Morphe M458, which is a very small baby contour brush. Can you see this, how small this is? But I don't use this for contouring. I actually use this for powder application. I have to cook underneath my contour to give me more of a sharp line. And this brush has really made it so freaking easy. I'll dip into a powder. Literally, I'll just get the brush, drag, like, shh carves out a nice line. It's very, very sharp. It's defined. It's small and it's dense. So it's going to pick up a lot of product and deposit a lot of product as well. Also, I've been doing nose contouring recently a lot more than I usually do. So what I like to do is get the powder again, cook the sides of my nose and on the tip of it. And I've just noticed that it really does make a huge difference when you have a brush like this rather than using like a powder puff, cooking in the kitchen, cooking in your face, baking the face, baking cookies, whatever it is. I just think that you need this brush in your life. Awesome work for brush. You guys fucking killed it. Morphe, I love you. In the zone of contouring, I want to talk about this brush really quickly. I just discovered this one this month and I... It's been good to me. It's been fucking good. This is the Morphe E50. So as you can see, like the ferrule is pinched, but it kind of like becomes fluffy. So it's like really pinched here and then it kind of tapers out. Do you guys see that? This has become like my new contour brush, my new go-to for contouring. It picks up products so nicely. It's a synthetic bristle, so it picks up very nicely and it blends so freaking well. It blends so well because when you pick it up and you kind of go in, because it's fluffier, it's gonna blend out very nicely, but because it's tapered, it's gonna deposit that contour right where you want it. So it's not like everywhere, it's not crazy. I just found that this brush has really been revamping my life. The bristles are flat on the side right here. I can pick up product kind of contour the temples a little bit. They launched this when they launched the new Elite Collection brushes, but I never used it, I didn't even know I had it, and I was like searching through my brushes, and I was like, hmm, -hmm. I saw this one, and I'm like, this looks promising AF, and I've been using it, and it is, it's fucking bomb. So if you guys wanna use a brush that's really, really great for contouring, that blends out your contour as well as deposit a really nice amount, check out this brush, the Morphe E50. It's freaking amazing, like, dude, get this bitch. I just want to bring this up really quickly. I haven't used them yet, but I just wanted to show you guys. So this is a new Morphe kit that they just came out with. It's a cute little, like, silver bag with a couple brushes in it. I get tons, tons, tons of questions of what Morphe kits are my favorite. 
to like use, like which of the kits are the best. You guys, I actually don't have a single Morphe kit. I've never used them. I've only ever used the individuals. So I don't really know what are the going to be the best kits for you guys. But I got sent this kit recently, and I truly think that this is going to be one of the best kits that they have because they are the gunmetal brushes. These are the gunmetal line. Let's see what it comes with. It comes with a buffing face brush, amazing. Like a blush contour brush, amazing. A highlighting slash underneath the eye brush, amazing. And then it comes with four little eye brushes, a packing, two blending, and a little eyeliner one. It covers everything. It covers everything you need for the entire face, and I just would definitely recommend this little kit if you guys want a kit from Morphe rather than getting only individuals. I suggest getting individuals. That's my style. I love mixing and matching brushes to make my own kind of kit, but not everyone does that. So if you guys want to get a kit, check out this one. And we're down to the last couple products. We're down to the lippies. So first product I want to talk about is this lipstick by Bite. It is called Honeycomb. This color is so fucking sick nasty. It's stupid. It is the most beautiful beigey nude color. Let me just swatch it for you guys. Look at that. Do you see that? Usually I'm not really into beige nudes like whatsoever, but for some reason this one has been like killing it, dude. Like this, I've been wearing this very frequently. When I went to New York with Bite, I was wearing this literally every single time we went out, every time someone saw me, they're like, what are you wearing? I'm like, honeycomb, because I'm obsessed. Also, I wanted to bring up Bite really quickly too, because it's another favorite of mine. I just think it's really cool. In New York, they have a Bite lip lab. I had no idea they did this. You can literally go in and custom create your own lipstick, which I think is just so freaking cool of a brand to do. Fucking shit bite. Like, you guys are smart. Like, you're freaking smart. It's literally like, so think of it as like a Build-A-Bear, but for a lipstick. I think it's like $30 per lipstick, which really is not that bad to custom create your own. Like, you literally are like there custom creating your own lipstick. They're like mixing it for you. You tell them like, I want more red, I want more beige, I want more nude. They will literally do it, so I think that's really freaking amazing. It sucks because, like, New York is the only place that has it, but I do believe that they're, like, trying to go out and do more and, like, invest in different areas to do more lip labs. So I really hope they do that because that would be so freaking amazing. And if you live in New York, dude, do it. Go out. Make your own lipstick. It's such a cool process. It reminds me of, like, collabing. I felt like I was doing a collab, and I was like, I've done this before. This is really cool. If you guys ever wanted to do that, custom create your own lipstick, your own finish, your own bullet, you can literally do that at the Bite Lip Lab, so I would definitely suggest doing that. Also, one more thing from Bite, just because it's already here. I've also been mixing Honey Gloss with Honeycomb. These are the two I have been wearing. It's what's on the lips right now, actually. It's, like, this lipstick with this gloss on top. I think this lip looks fucking sickening. I just found out all this like random info from them, so like I kind of want to share with you guys. Bite used to actually be called Bite Me. That's like what it was called because like the ingredients are so edible. Like they're so organic that you can eat them and it wouldn't be bad for you. So that's kind of why Bite is called what it is, is because the products that they make are so organic, they're so good for you, the quality is so high that if you ate it, it wouldn't be bad for you. So that's kind of why it's called Bite, which I thought was really, it's just a cool random piece of information that I wanted to share along with you guys because I think that's really badass. And that's it for the March favorites. Yeah. Kind of bummed because these videos are really really fun to film <laughs> but i had so much fun filming this for you guys i love favorites videos i just feel like it's me sitting down talking to you guys about what our favorite products are of the month you guys let me know what you guys love i like to let you guys know what i'm loving for the month so i really do appreciate it let me know in the comments bar below what products you have been liking for this month especially like skincare stuff like because i love skincare stuff so please let me know what you have been loving in the month of march and i would love to check it out that's just how it is you know that's how it works you guys feed my addiction i feed yours See how we're doing that? But yeah, other than that, it's been an amazing month. I'm going to try to keep filming. Let me know what you guys want to see next in the comments bar below. And I'll definitely get that up and ready for you guys. Everything I talked about in today's video will, of course, be linked down below, as everything always is, as well as codes, links, whatever it may be. I will link it down below for you guys. Don't, you're good. You are Gucci. Other than that, have a great rest of the night or day, wherever you guys are. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys. I love you so much. <laughs> Bye. Mwah. Sweet peach. I just feel like it sounds like a sweet pea. Mm. Oh, my back hurts. My back hurts. My back hurts. Hey guys, welcome back to. No. No, 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 no. Hey guys! <coughs> no, you're not. Die. Okay. I don't even care if my eyeliner's uneven. I don't give a fuck. I tried. I'm done. I'm not doing it again. Who's fucking fixing me? I just don't sleep a lot. <laughs>